All right. Well, the stream just got a whole lot less interesting because instead of the bossa nova, it's just us now. What I love about nova the way that way we arranged this. the we are like it just it was a happy accident, but like um, the credits of the game kind of roll to the point where it just says the blockchain and then our, our, our name, our byline fades in. And that's when like the cheesy little organ solo just starts playing. <laughs> it's like my favorite part of the whole game. <laughs> that I really, really love uh, that particular part of it. Yeah. Yeah. The credits are clutch. Uh, and so the, the character select is clutch too. It feels really good to have a couple modes and the ability to swap out your character. I guess I we're we like, I'll just, I'm going to fire up the game. Yeah, do it. I think we're like pretty close to calling it finished. We could, yeah, we could even ship the game today if we wanted to. Unity. I'm in. Unity. Unity. No, oh, look, it's opening. It's got a little pie chart. It's, it's Unity in. It's unifying over there. It's it's doing something. Are you just running Java? Are you like log for j in yourself? <laughs> uh, that is chatty. The ah, uh, uh, it's a jar. Okay, it is a jar file. Yeah. Uh. Downloading a jar and running it is not my favorite way of using app apps. No. Yeah. Uh, I think all this Whoa. nonsense is from the build. Although it, that's no, I think that's actually just like, I don't it's know. It's going up. Now. It's just chugging out errors, whatever it's doing. It's having problems with like library shader cache. I don't, I don't buy it. That's weird. I don't know. I could try closing it and starting it again. I was about to say six o'clock is three hours ago, but then I realized it's not. <laughs> oh, you're talking about this? Yeah, I was like, oh, those must be. I thought they were old errors. Okay, no, they're 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 hot, they're hot and they're hot and ready. Yep, yep. Huh. What happens if you? Force I was gonna say hit play. <laughs> My favorite thing in the world. Maybe we need to update to 2021 2.7. It fixes uh, that error. No. Who knows what's available? I mean, new week, new Unity version? It's been it's been pretty consistent. It's been a couple days, right? <laughs> it's been a couple days. <laughs> oh shit. It installed the Intel version for me. Why? Good. Maybe it's a universal app, but it's telling me it's got both. Oh, it, no, 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 it won't let you install both. So you, you've done one and it blocks out the Intel button. That that's is a silicon. strange interface because it says Intel installed. Okay, that's a good point. Yeah. I think, I, it's I think beta, what it is is that you have... Here, so. I, I think you have 2021 2.6 installed. I agree this is a bad interface. <laughs> Okay. I don't. I don't think anyone sort of designed their UIs to plan for like multiple architectures of computers on the other side. It's true for them a little bit. That's <laughs> true. All right, let's try opening this again. Maybe it'll. Maybe yeah. uh, the gods will smile upon me the second time. I have been running builds from the command awesome. line, so it might have written stuff oh. to the cache that. Let's say we can. You can blow away the cache, or just hit play. Hmm. I say I say let's hit play and see where we end up. I mean, I guess the credits, but you can't hear the music, but it's just playing in the background right now for me. I can share my audio. Actually, I do want to share my audio. Okay. Um, because I added some sound effects. Oh fuck yeah, yeah yeah. What what is this error though? Oh, you know what? Now that as soon as I shared my audio. I think you have to replay. There's like a default audio device change. I think if you replay. Uh, if I just hit play again. But I'm curious about the. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, I got it. Oh, did you did you rip out some touch stuff? Is that what's happening with that JS uh, lib use touch? Oh, well, well, no, we have it set to WebGL in the build settings. And when that, when that <laughs> happens, it doesn't know how to deal with stuff that's like, there's a whole fucking thing. I added some music and sound effects credits here. I don't know if I got everybody, but I made the efforts, nice. you know? All right. Five seconds. You'll see what I'm talking about with the organ. I'm so stoked. 
those errors. Just like there's thousands of them. How many frames we run? Just gonna bop along. <laughs> that a cheesy little organ. Oh, it's good. It's really good. <laughs> it's a perfect ending to uh, maybe the greatest game we've ever made. So therefore, the greatest game ever ever made. I mean. I'm not going to lie. I think this is the greatest game we've ever made. <laughs> it is. Uh, okay. Hopefully those errors will go away now. Or at least those JavaScript ones. Um, so start from the very beginning. A very good place to start. A very good place. Uh, oh, I didn't double click. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, sound effects. Uh, I like it. Yeah, that's really good. And then when you hit a button, yeah. you get that sound effect. Ooh. And then uh, a different sound effect for selected characters. You are you are dangerous with sound effects. This is great. Yeah. Nice. Um, and then what's the what's the acceptance one? Is it Perry still? Same sound effect that you added. I changed her oh. parry. Now it's a little bit less exciting. Oh, it's so much better. <laughs> uh, you also see a little bit of her butt. I'm not going to lie. That sprite, it had some butt. It was the best parry yeah. sprite. It's, I'm not against butt. It's much better than the other one. Yeah. We're not... Oh, what? That shouldn't have happened. Did you see that? What the, happened? Uh, the, the timeline slider didn't appear. I'm definitely pre-instantiating all of these. Hmm. Thought I fixed it. I did see... I thought, I thought that was the a zoom artifact. <laughs> <coughs> nope. Yeah, so her parry's better. Uh, now, that's actually like a really... I mean, I don't care about the butt, that doesn't really satisfy in parry. I love it's just like, it's kind of like giving the finger to the incoming attack. You know who's got the best parry is uh, Sword Guy. Now that we oh, can yeah. actually select these characters, it's fun. I'm really, I'm glad we put this in here. I think it's a good little, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Watch this parry, it's very satisfying. That is really good. That's dope, right? <laughs> that, like, I think Ninja also has a good too. parry as well. We should we should add a button that takes you back to the menu. <laughs> we really <laughs> should. <laughs> um, How do you get out of survival mode, by the way? You don't. Okay, you quit the game. Uh, yeah, you, you quit. I mean, I, I could add an escape button that takes you back to the main menu. Yeah. Right. Uh... He's got a good parry, too. He has, like, the most parry-like parry, I, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and the awesome. sprites are just so. The sprites are just so. Um, yeah. All right, that's enough, for, that's enough for game sounds. I'm going to mute this for the rest Please. of the day. <laughs> Great. This music is, like, burned into my head at this point. It completely is just, like, uh, I've lived with it. I've lived among it. Yeah. I do I really I actually like uh I I enjoyed having survival mode have different music too because I started the game and I was like, it's not the funk soundtrack. <laughs> it's pretty good. Survival mode is fun. In fact, yeah. uh, uh let's have a little competition, a uh, little tradition on this stream. We're gonna compete. Right. Uh how many lives do I get in, in survival mode? Uh best best of three. Best of three. Okay. Hey, wait, uh can we can we do a build? Can you like, let's put a build in Dropbox. I have like, I can't hit the timing on, in the editor. It like loses my space bar. Okay. Does it do that to you? It does not, but huh. what do I know? So uh, I'm, I'm the problem is what I'm hearing. E <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, hang on a second. Yeah, I don't quite understand it. Maybe it's some sort of like I have a couple of UI extensions, and I'm wondering if can I uh, delete this. You just, if you just click on it, move to trash. To, oh, well, that works. Yeah, it's I'm wondering. A building. I, I turned off I a couple extensions for up. for Unity itself. You have to zip it. You can't just put it in Dropbox. Uh, I can. I think Dropbox does some weird. Like, see if you can go into the directory. Jeff and Dom blockchain Mac, blockchain. 
And if it downloads oh. as an actual .app file, then good for you. I suspect oh. it will download it as the regular S directory, in which case I'll need to zip it. Oh, interesting. OK. Uh, I just realized that Dropbox wasn't running, which sure isn't going to help my case here. <laughs> Uh, I will I will sync this as you as you play though. I'm gonna make a zip file just in yeah. case. Okay. Oh yeah, it's it's an application. Dropbox ships applications. Zip everything. hyphen r capital X blockchain mac dot zip blockchain dot app. I love that song. I do it so many freaking times. I'm, I've been working on a build script. Nice. Um, so that I don't have to do this every single friggin' time. <laughs> I want to make a build. That's a good, good choice. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to play the cool. game. Nice. It's going to full screen. I don't know if it's going to screen share, though. Is it still screen sharing? I'm looking at it. You want me to check right. the stream real quick? I think it, I think it should be fine. As long yeah. as Zoom is getting in. Um, oh, yeah, okay, good point. It's survival Zoom. mode. This seems really zoomed in. I'm gonna play our hunter boy. This parry is real good. Oh my god, that was so aggressive. It actually feels slightly slower to me for some reason. I think it's just like huh. Like the space bar feels like a cold. It's so matter. I don't okay. Oh, I just lost. Unbelievable. The slow one. All right. We got <laughs> eight. Bar. Well, I really like the, I like the Simon Belmont a lot. Yeah, he kind of looks like an asshole. Ugh. Oh. All right, this is my last chance. Barely got that one. I mean, you used to play this game in a very much smaller window. It actually changes like, my sense of story. I'm just a little bit disoriented by this. It's really different, right? Yeah. <laughs> Full screen might be a little bit too much for this game, but whatever. I like it. All right. Well, I at least made it to nine. Are you okay with the fact that I changed watching an X2 to 24 rather than every 3? It's basically every 12 right now is the blockchain. Oh yeah, I, I didn't even see that change, but heck yeah. Alright, I'm in a zen. I'm the master of this game. Rare achievement. I think I am currently the best player in this game. I have a 69 streak. Which is we should start a leaderboard record. <laughs> All right, 29. Okay. The, the, the glove is cast. <laughs> let's let's see what we can do over here. All right. To the blockchain. Is this coming through? It is coming through. All right. All right, you were you were hunter. I, I'm gonna have to enjoy this sword parry. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. You do have to lean back for full screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. Hey, the first one didn't show up. That sucks. Yeah, I thought I fixed it. Maybe I need to activate it and have it off screen. Yeah, we might have to. That's too bad. The frame rate over screen share is abysmal. It's. I wasn't going to tell you anything while you were playing. It was awful. Yeah. Man, you just have to listen. Kill oh, me you here. can't even hear the sound. Well, you just have to watch the counter, and eventually it'll update. Yeah. <laughs> the bloom looks real good, though. It's giving me a really good uh, view of the bloom. Oh yeah, because it's stuck on the screen. <laughs> yeah. We should bloom the wind-up circle. We can do that. Yeah. We have to change the material, but that shouldn't be that hard. Well, we're writing. We're using our own shader. Um, oh, well, we can definitely do that then. And it should 
so we just write values that are higher than one into the, the colors or is that or yeah, is there a separate do, buffer that multiply just... by a white with a higher intensity okay all right there's 29 damn i'm already the winner and you're like cold too you haven't been playing this all day like me this is just crazy i'm getting destroyed here let's see if you can beat your record your record is what 40 65 65 i think yeah you're gonna do it live Let's find it's out. It's because of this it's new too bad animation. How awful this is going to look on the stream, but I'm into it. Yeah, it's because of this new animation, right? Oh, it's making me really feel great. the parry. Ah, <laughs> oh, the dragon. This is my first time really examining these uh, effect sprites. They're great. They're good, right? Yeah. All right. This, this game is very zen. Yeah, it's pretty fun, right? I think it's well, more it's weird fun than like, we... I absolutely hate this mechanic in games, and I kind of enjoy what we made. Or, like, I do enjoy what we made, but, like, I thought I would actually be annoyed at this at the at the finish line, you know? Yeah, I was talking to a former colleague of mine. Um, we were talking in the X Slack, Slack, and he was starting a startup. Uh, and, uh, oh, you got hit. Dang, yeah, 55. I, 55. I mean, you can you can use your other two cat lives here, but I, I think I think you've made your statement very definitively. This I, is like I was gonna say uh, nearly two X. I I'm just gonna uh, I'll drop I'll drop the glove. Uh, I think I think that went well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sick. So what do you want to do today? Um, oh wait wait wait. Let me finish telling you my story about my my former colleague who I was talking to. Um, oh yeah yeah. And I was telling him what I was up to, and I was like, "Hey, you should check out this. Uh, you could, you should check out this game that we made." And he, I sent him the link, and his first thing was like, "I hate the parry," and I was like, "Me too." <laughs> <laughs> so he was our target demographic for sure. It's universal. D did he enjoy it? I, I don't know even know if he played it, but he said okay. he thought it was cool. He he liked the sprites. Everyone likes the sprites, the sprites and really music. Good. The two things that we didn't do ourselves. You know what we did? We chose them. We curate. Yeah. Curation, like supervision, is the hardest part, right? Yeah, we, we, really, we really managed uh, our way through this project. We, we, we've taken other people's work and, and amplified it. Any asshole can torrent 20 terabytes of free sound effects and music. It's the truly talented among us that can sift through the noise. You know, I, for, for, for most of the sound effects and music, I literally just like went to the Unity Asset Store. I was like, free, typed in free music. And I searched That's for hilarious. I searched the first page and I downloaded stuff. And that is the corpus from which we have erected this masterpiece, this cultural monolith, <laughs> this world historical event. I love I this. I love ortho at an angle. It looks so cool. Isn't it great? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to grab. I always have trouble getting this centered, but yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, what should, so what should we do today? Um, we could obviously like, we could try to put some polish on this sucker. We, we have a very short list, list left, right? Probably, probably even we're shorter. practically done. I would say. Um, yeah, how, how much of this to-do did you just do today? <laughs> I think you did uh, the it. The game design bit, I didn't really touch. Um, okay. You mm -hmm. can, we can try playing Dragon and Hunter and see how it feels. I'm not going to be able to really see it um, just because okay. it's so janky over Zoom. Um, it's pretty jank. It's pretty jank. Uh, I did all the sprite fixes, I think. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I didn't actually double check. I did, I did classy slow charge frame. Um, uh, I didn't actually double check. I, I think it's probably mm -hmm. a little bit better. Um, I did a lot of scooting around of the wrestler, so it doesn't look like he's popping back all the time. And nice. then um, sound effects I added, character mm -hmm. select, all that stuff is done. Um, huh? did, you, did we get a uh, did we get a you died sound effect for fems? I did. Yes. Oh, all right. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta do this. Okay. Because that was, it was slightly disconcerting. Yeah. 
I was like, oh God, I'm adding gender to the game. But I, I think this is the good kind of adding gender to the game. I mean, is it, I'm not sure if it's gender as much as it's like representation. It's okay. Fair enough. Yeah. By the way, one thing that might be making your Mac build slow is, is that you have the scene view open. It makes it like yeah. remarkably slower. Oh shit, it does. Yeah. Well, that was a mistake. All right, N noted. I can't, I can't do the music right now. I'm just gonna wait till I'm almost dead to turn this back on. <laughs> I've, I don't think I've seen a Classy's parry. Oh, that's a, that's a good parry too. I was trying to find a better like one. A that one is fine, but. It's like, it's got a good talk to the hand vibe. It's like, yeah. uh-uh. Exactly. Oh wait, that was a that was a dude that was a dude death sound. Damn. Uh, is everything? Do you push everything? Yeah, but you you can't. You're, you're you're. I think you are on a different branch, or you're not Man? on. It says it's not possible to fast forward. So I, I think you might have a, a conflict because oh. you didn't push. Maybe. Oh, uh, let me do a rebase. Doi. There we go. Okay. I mean, let's clean this up real quick, I guess. Yeah. What did I do? This is a, didn't I push the survival music? I'm confused. So I don't think that commit made it in because I, I saw your message in Slack about it. And then I was like, oh, oh cool. Shit. And then I noticed that it wasn't there. So I was like, okay, I'll just sneak it in there. Maybe it was just a suggestion or it was on a branch. I didn't. I didn't Sorry. really. I didn't really interrogate it. <laughs> I probably, maybe should have, just gone the extra mile and just asked you about it. <laughs> I would have. No, I chose I to. Too. I chose to be non-communicative. I love it. Uh, that's really funny. Okay, but my character selector did make it in there clearly. So yeah, I guess I. It was just fucked the one up worse. Um. Well, super funny. It looks like we wrote the same code. Slightly, yeah, it's just format. It's slightly different format. Yeah. Well, that's because one of one of us has a better editor. Uh right, right. good. Fiesca. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, you're still 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 feeling the vibe? I'm, I'm still uh, feeling the vibe, yeah. Okay, I'm getting excited to try that out. It should be a no op, right? Um, well, I think my commit is in there in the past, and then your commit now reformats it. Oh, cool. Or I just, mine's just on top for some reason. What Whatever. does git log hyphen p show? That's not right. No. You know what? Uh, let's just kill me. You could just do, uh, yeah, get, or you could do also do a git reset hard origin mm -hmm. whatever you're 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 all good there's so many there's so many ways to do this and get <laughs> beautiful let's get checkout hyphen t uh as a tracking branch oh my god i use do get checkout checkout hyphen b With this is way better slash what win? you're doing is way better yeah is it no, okay? I mean, it's the same actually. If I did get checkout hyphen, it's exactly the same. Name, I think. Yeah, I think it's the same. As you were saying, I, there's too many too too many ways to, of doing the same thing. I'm not I'm not sure where that particular like tick came from, but I learned it at some point when I was like, I need to make sure I don't like accidentally get a local branch again, and this is the only way that it's going to happen. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, variable UI overlay has not been assigned. Uh, that what? is strange. Did I forget to commit something over here? Maybe. I don't think so. We we had this problem come up before where like there was a there was an assignment that didn't come through somehow. I think that might have just happened again. Weird. 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 Um, what should the UI overlay be? Um, it should be. Oh, is it this the, whole uh, the t the keyboard UI? Okay, cool. Oh, right, because you're you're taking that off on select. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's weird that they didn't make it in. Maybe I just forgot to hit save and I closed Unity. Oh, you can hit uh, you can hit either square bracket uh, square brackets to just skip levels, or you can hit one through eight to jump to the different levels. Forgot about the cheat codes. I need one that makes them attack attack me faster. <laughs> Sword guy is pretty fast. Uh, probably wrestler will kill you the fastest. Seven. That's true. But well, we're, we're halfway you're, there. You're already so. halfway there. Yeah. That's great. That's got to roll. I like it. Yeah. That was a lot of work for me to hear a sound effect, but uh, taking it. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> you know, you could have displayed the wave file, but you know. Shit. No, I wanted it, to. No, you, need, you need to see it in context, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, character selection game flow. Yep, yep, yep. Shit. Uh, this sure looks pretty done to me. It feels pretty done. Do you want to just do some QA I... live? The other thing yeah, I could I do so. is like you could play, you could try fighting Hunter and Dragon and see how they feel to you. Okay. Um, I don't really care about Ninja and Roller Girl. They're all just kind of like test your skill kind of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The idea that I had behind Dragon was to have a lot of like fake out stuff. Um, and what I thought about doing with him was like having like a sequence of relatively long waits followed by either a slow or a fast attack. Um, hmm. Yeah, interesting. I think the problem is we're so good at this game that like everybody feels the same. It's it's really hard. Yeah. 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 I, I should just I should just let him pummel me for a second. And that's probably the actual and you can hit H to heal yourself too. H gives you 50 health. Oh, come on. I love it. Only in the editor, but yeah. I like the I like the double fast after a wait. I think that's cool. Yeah. Uh, Dragon Dragon feels like he's uh dishing some stuff out. I mean, let's see how Hunter's feeling. I think he it's just goes text. like slow, fat, slow, standard, fast. It's a, it's a standard. That's a slow. And then, oh, he, never mind. He does a super slow. I don't think he has a fast. Oh, he does. He's the one character that uses all four of his moves. Oh shit! That that alone makes him special. Yeah. Oh, the other thing about Dragon is that his fast is medium damage, so he's you have to block his fast. Oh, I like it. Yeah. I think, I mean, I think both of these are great. And okay. yeah, we, I would love to like, <laughs> I'm resisting the urge to like build out like backstory and like deep uh, sort of feels for every character. Cause like, I think we, I don't think we have the tools to convey them yet. <laughs> no, this is um, I think, I think this feels like a very different sequence than the last one, which is nice. Okay. That's good. Yeah, hell yeah. We're lucky that uh, Hunter and Dragon made it into the sequence because it's randomized. Oh, I got really lucky there. <laughs> we, we got really lucky. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's actually just like one out of three. Like, if you're going to, like, what, what are the odds of having both of them in there? It's yeah. basically like, uh, yeah, you get what I'm saying. It's a meaty sound effect. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, they sound really good. <laughs> This is fun. This feels this feels like quite the uh, fighting game send up at this point. Yep, yep. I mean, I don't know. reset's still in there. That's good. I thought it might be interesting to have a little, have a sound effect or some other kind of cue if you try to parry before the parry timer is is filled up. Oh, like a like a uh, like kind of a, yeah, but 
I don't, I don't know. Like it's not, it, it's not, it wouldn't radically improve the game. It would just basically communicate that, you know, you can't parry. You'll learn real quick what the uh, parry timer is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's super necessary though. Uh, yeah. I do. I like deeply appreciate Rimpulse to make everything a sound effect because it is super helpful. Yeah. I don't think I have that instinct yet, but it's, clearly correct the one thing i see because the frame rate is so poor uh, over the, the zoom screen share is that when mm -hmm. a camera shake happens um i think i think the out of bounds is showing yes the we're basically just seeing black because i th i think the background is exactly 16 by 9 right and it fills the viewport precisely is that correct i think you're right although i'm a little surprised that we're seeing um in the scene view, we're seeing the skybox because it should just be black. I think that the camera is set to just clear to black rather than clearing the skybox. I think I think we are seeing black, right? Um, and I'm just talking about in the scene view of Unity because oh, the camera is uh, actually clearing to black. Yeah, I don't quite understand how I think if I click on the camera, I, mean, I guess I guess yeah, the environment tell, background but... type says solid color black. I don't know where the skybox is coming from. Maybe Unity just likes that. It just throws it in there. I think it's I think it's like one of these actually. Yeah. Oh, it is like an editor setting. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. We can turn off particle. I'm turning off particle systems in the editor. Interesting. Nice. Okay. Huh. Like you can even see it charging and blooming down here. Neat. I don't know what always refresh means. Yeah. Um, I like, mm, I've, I've noticed that before where you can kind of see a black edge. It doesn't, it doesn't kill me. Okay. But yeah, could, I, I, I thought make I the broke it. A little I thought it was like you know because I was I added the thing that restricted us to, to sixteen by nine aspect ratio. Um, no, I think we shipped that a while ago. But we I, shipped I think, it. I think yeah, like, like if you go onto the web, um, it's there. It's here too. Yeah. Yeah. I think I if, need to add some kind of loading indicator here. Oh, do we have an option for that? That'd be cool. Well, there's like a non-minimal template that looks really ugly that has a loading bar. Maybe it's better that way. I don't know. Oh, shit. I don't think I saw it there, though. You'll see it if you get hit. Yeah. Although, I don't bit. know. This doesn't look like it's happening here right now. It doesn't. Is maybe, it maybe a little around the skybox or around the this edge? Yeah. So there's a lot of things that are different uh, about the implementation that's online and the one that's in the build currently. Um, I was I was gonna say I don't think we cleared the black in that version. I think it clears to some generic color. Well, the camera shake is literally just moving the camera in space, right? Mm -hmm. So. How big is the background? Like, how much of the background are we? This this looks nearly exact. Yeah, that was my impression so, too. So I don't know how it's working uh, in the version that's hosted on itch.io because I think actually showing black is correct, right? Yeah, I I like that. I think it, it looks like you're really rat rattling the world around, so. Yeah, I mean, the black looks buggy to me, but like. OK. The, but um, I don't know what the difference is, really. Like, I, I, and I don't know how to fix it, because this is ortho projection. We can't, we can't shrink the backdrop unless we actually scale it, right? Yeah, but like, we, we got room to scale it. Oh, it is being scaled. Oh, shit, I didn't even realize. It's just that it might look bad, it's being right? Oh, it's already been. Are you saying it was already being scaled? It was. It was. This was scaled down to exact something. Um, 
I think this yeah. is, I think this eight to four point. I think this is sixteen by nine on the XC plane. And it's now it's still sixty nine. It's just a slightly different orientation. So I we can we can shift it around. What is its um... the z the z scale doesn't or the z um, position doesn't matter. It doesn't matter except if it's behind the camera. Um, right, right. But well, I'm sure we can cover we can cover other things up with it. Probably. Yeah, and then the z scaling shouldn't matter. Like you should be able to just set that to one, and it would be. Uh, no, so it's we're this is the we're scaling we're scaling on the x z plane. No, that is weird. Why is why is z the thing that is sixteen nine? Because nine sixteen. That's that's what this value is. Oh, you, geez, you know what this is? This thing is rotated to all heck too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I see. Uh, but like. I got I got no problem with this. Like looking at the game view, like this 0.8 versus 0.1. We can, I mean, we can only give it a little more, 0.9. Yeah, I mean, as as, as are we doing nearest neighbor scaling for the texture? I mean, as long as the texture doesn't look yes. fuzzy, then yeah, it's fine. Oh, the game looks so different when you do that. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think that's fine. Let's check out the, we can check out the texture real quick, but it should be point no filter, yeah. You can even turn off compression if you really wanted to be. Um, Where is that? It's the very bottom drop down uh, right there. Normal, it says compression, oh, normal quality. Shit. What? What does yeah. that do? You know how the very first version of this game, uh, there was like weird colors on our sprites faces and that kind of thing? Yeah. It was compression. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. These aren't very high density textures at all. So uh, compression doesn't really buy us too much. No, I don't I don't think it's particularly necessary. Let's see. Let's see how this looks with the bloom way, way up. I mean, God, the bloom is so great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this camera shake looks way better to me. Cool. I'm not seeing the black kind of hovering the sides it's yeah it's not though I, it helps to get let me get like a, a bobo in here the the hardest hit does the most camera shake so oh i see yeah uh yeah i'm not seeing any black no i didn't see any of that time cool okay this threshold is i've i've turned the bloom up far too high but it does look shiny as hell oh <laughs> it looks really cool <laughs> i mean should should we keep it it looks it, it looks I don't hate it actually. What if we split the difference? Yeah. What was it before? Yeah. Before it was like uh, two, <laughs> and I just turned. I just turned it twenty. <laughs> so ten. Ten to ten. Boy, two looks like nothing compared to that. Zero. Yeah. I mean, zero. Definitely. I'm, I'm putting it on six. Okay. Lucky number six. Yeah. Yeah, that, that feels that feels good. Huh. Editing that save during edit mode. That's interesting. Um yeah, can we try adding bloom to the wind-up circle? I'm just yeah, curious. Let's do it. it would be it would be educational. Absolutely. So this, okay, wait. So let's let's see. We've got our shader. <laughs> Don't you love this interface? <laughs> What's that? Don't you love this interface? I do. I do. I just had, I had to remember how how this all happened. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. So there's a couple of things. So I forgot. I feel like there's one setting for dealing with HDR in here as well. Um, we've got our incoming color scale and thickness. Okay. So where is the material? Here's the circle material. Ah, so this color needs to be mode HDR. Uh, okay. And now this color, I, I think I need to I need to save the circle material asset. Now this became an HDR color. 
and we can give this an intensity of like six, which is what our other ones are. So let's see how that goes. Okay, and then how does the shader deal with that parameter? Let's see if this worked. I, I couldn't tell. Yeah. It didn't look like it. Um, I am changing the color dynamically. Does that need to? Ah, okay, yeah. Let's let's pop back into that then. Because the color is an input, and the the game code sets it. Oh, okay. Um, yes. Then we either need to specify HDR colors, or we could have like a color and an, and an intensity value for the material. So we have a second color, basically. Can you? Is there a node in Shader Graph that allows you to compose an HDR color from an RGBA value plus an intensity? Is there such a thing? Because the it's color mode, it's almost like we're, we're dealing with a different data type here, right? Is that correct? I think hmm. you're right. Um, hmm. So, I mean, what is what is the the intensity property is letting these values go past two fifty five, right? That's that's kind of the only thing that's happening here. It's not. Uh, that's uh, a multiplier, right? That's what the intensity is. Yeah, but it's not a. It's not like a different. I don't know. You know uh, I, do, let's, I hopefully I'm understand how it's take a look at the documentation and see if yeah Unity color class. I'm pretty sure that's just a alias for like an RGBA struct, right? It doesn't have intensity as anything separate. Yep. Yeah, I think you're right. Unity color class. HDR. How to change an HDR color from script. Thank you, Unity Forum. <sighs> Don't you love? Don't you love like Stack Overflow or forum responses that don't address the original question? I do not. And it, I it, am not a fan of those in any way. It, it gets it gets the person's problem solved, I suppose. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just looking at the docs right now. I, I, I think it might be. It might just be color values that are higher than, yeah, I don't know. Choose HR, the window derives a color channel and- um... This is for the color picker, right? But it doesn't yeah. tell you what, like under the hood, what, what how it's actually being represented. Well, I guess the question is, could you set the red channel at like 255 times four and the others is not, and does that count as intensity? Like, can you put, can you punch one of the color channels? I mean, this is how we did it in the shade we wrote by hand for Bloom, right? Yeah. So where's intensity coming from? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, see that that laser red that they're doing there. I mean, this is where we learned it before, right? He's just setting a value that's higher than one. Hmm. So I guess I guess I read HDR, I read the HDR color picker as a shortcut for getting into this multiplier, which is fine. So I, I think all it's doing is it's taking the RGB values, scaling them to a value between zero and one, and then multiplying it by the intensity. Does that seem? I think that's right, yeah. Okay. And then um, it's just right, so it's writing to the, uh, so the, the post processor knows that the, 
the post processor knows that the um that the color buffer has HDR colors in it, right? Because this shader is not explicitly HDR enabled. It's just writing some floating point value. Well, and it's specifically the um, the input. We're marking the input as HDR. So I, I think it's along the lines of like, you know, whatever, whatever is processing our inputs knows that it's an HDR color class at some point and we're allowed to do this. But, the, but there's nothing inherent about the shader that is like HDR no. mode or anything like that. Cause th these are just, I don't, I don't think just so. four floating point numbers that are getting passed in, right? I think it's right. I think, I, think, I think maybe the only thing that's annotated is the input to the shader such that Unity knows what to do with the data that it's expecting. Like I think, I think this HDR mode is a signal to the outside world. I, I agree. I don't. I don't think the shader touches that at all. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it literally the, just changes um, what the editor does it, with it. It's right? just the editor just yeah. treats it as a. I'm going to add. I'm going to give you an intensity slider, uh -huh. and then I'm going to multiply your RGB values by that intensity. Yep. Uh, so I, I added this very poorly named thing. I should call this intensity. Okay. So there is so there's your color, and then there's another color that is just white, white and six, and the multiply does the right thing. Can you pull the intensity off of that? So this is how I structured the other shader. Let me let's let me save this and hit play and see and see what we're getting because I think this should do it. Nope, I broke it. Uh, do you need to set the alpha to, to 255 here? I probably need to set something other than zero, yeah. It's so, I hate that the color picker defaults alpha to zero. It's never been what I've wanted. It's bizarre, yeah. And those should all be 255, right? As a multiple. Yeah, every time, every time I open it, they go back to gray. I'm really kind of... Maybe that's the HDR thing. It's also setting your intensity to 6.4 every time. Yeah, I'm looking. You know what it is? I, well, I set these to 255, 255, 255, and 6. And I think it's taking them, for some reason, back down and into the, this, this color picker is doing something. I don't really care. Okay. I do care. I'm, I'm kind of annoyed at it. <laughs> OK, yeah, that was definitely blooming. Is that? Is oh that my god, it's or... like it's like hotter than the sun. It's crazy. That might be a bit much. It's a little. It's a little intense. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see. I want to see if there's different colors, but I think uh, at the intensity I've given it, maybe there won't be. Let's try two. So one thing I'm noticing is that this is wrong. It did like a bright yellow for the orange. So that's too bad. What huh, is interesting? The right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't like that, but it does it does make sense because I am multiplying, I'm basically multiplying white by the, our color, whatever it is. So, hmm. let me take a peek at how my other shader does this. Because the other shader has a script driven color as well, the same pattern. Other shader has a script driven color. Ah, uh, no, it's taking uh, sort sort of. It's taking the vertex color. Oh yeah, okay. But like, pretty similar pattern. It's yeah, it that should be kind of the same. Yeah, vertex color by the texture sample, and then multiplies the color property in, which is again the intensity. Which is just like a white, the non uh, like a intensity higher than one. It's just white. Yeah, if we hit the like. Um, 
pixel particle as our current one for this guy. Yeah, it's just that five. So what's different? Hmm. Yeah, that's that's surprising because our pixels all come out the correct color. The particles actually take color like really well. Yeah. Oh, um, I have a thought, which is that this color should not be HDR. Okay, that makes sense. I think I think that makes sense. Let me let me see. I wonder if this is when you multiply an HDR color by. I, I, I think for programmatic colors, it's not going to matter. Ooh, I saw a cyan block there. Okay, so I these are the colors. Yeah. These don't match. What happens if I turn the intensity up? Is it just that we're going to get color distortion? No matter what. Yeah, alpha is going to make it go away, right? Yeah. It doesn't look like you're changing anything that matters, right? It doesn't look like it's actually modifying it. I agree. That's weird. It is weird. Does it need to be like a neutral gray? I'm, I'm confused. Um, well, how, how does it know to preserve the color, right? Because it's just, you're, it's ultimately just producing a, mul it's just doing a multiplication, right? So just if you take, yeah. uh, if you take like, Let's say you're doing like red 0 0.25, green 0 0.25, right? Mm -hmm. And then you multiply that by two, you're going to get red 0 0.5, green 0 0.5. Mm -hmm. And that's a totally different color than yeah. 0 0.25, 0 0.25, right? So we're doing the same thing here, except that the resulting color value is over one, right? Mm -hmm. I guess okay. So wait, here, here's the thought, which I guess is when you pat when you hand it white with an intensity of five, it's I guess it's supposed to evenly multiply everything. So it's supposed to take everything and multiply it by the ratio by the correct by the same ratio and maintain the color. The multiplication is component wise, right? So you're just multiplying the red component by the red component, the green component yeah. by the green component, and so on and so forth, right? Yeah, it should just be like original red value times four for like intensity four. Four times five rather, right? What, uh, or yeah, 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 right. Yeah, so you're gonna have some value that's like way out of your space, out of the color space, right? It's gonna be way over one for every component mm -hmm. or, and then, so how does it know to render the regular color? And how does it even know to do that translation backwards unless you're telling the post-processor what the scaling factor is? Right. That's a great question. Yeah. Cause like <coughs> the way that I like, I would do this from first principle is that like, I'd say, okay, if I get a color that's higher than one, then I know that it was like multiplied by some value. Mm -hmm. And then what I would do is divide it by the value that I knew it was render the original color, but then also write into the stencil buffer that I'm going to use do for my blurring, you know, like I, 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 I don't know if that's correct, but like that. Yeah, no, I know what you're saying. But then that that does mean that everything is going to bloom at the same intensity, though. You can't just like divide everything by the same value because not everything would have the same intensity, right? Hmm. So does it just necessarily just change your colors destructively if you have have a intensity greater than one? I wonder. It it must. Huh. Okay. What changed in the post-processing volume? Uh, that that just... I actually I did turn up the bloom. Oh right, right. 
Yeah, we did we did make that. Oops, well, not anymore. I'll turn it back up. I meant to diff that. It was just setting this to six. Okay. Um, okay, well. Do you see what I'm talking about though? Like how does it know what color to oh. actually render? Oh, I'm like totally unclear on how, yeah, how that information would not be lost in the process. Yeah. I wonder, okay, well, let's let's go back to the circle shader and mm -hmm. instead of what I was doing, let's just make this the HDR color. Okay. And then where where we set these, let's see about, I just, I just wanna try the approach because yeah, I'm, I'm a little, I'm definitely having trouble figuring out why one is working and one isn't. Yeah. Um, so you can do C times six on line five, right? Something like that. Oh, that easy, huh? Probably so. I can't believe that compiles. Okay, see. So, and it shouldn't. If my understanding is correct, it shouldn't matter whether the shader marks it as HDR or not. Yeah. All right, same effect. Great. Yeah. Oh, that's that's an interesting question. What happens if the shader doesn't mark it as HDR? I think you're you're totally right. That's this is just an editor property, so mm -hmm. it doesn't it doesn't I think. care. Okay. Well, I think you're right. Because uh, on a data level, it's just again four floats, right? I wonder. I wonder if anything is trying to. It got brighter, actually. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's. Maybe there's well, some global. Maybe so there's some global setting that causes some math to happen for every HDR color based on some global setting, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Wow. It's interesting to me that the colors, there's no variation whatsoever. Yeah, let me, let me take this over to like, uh, let's, let's go up to a Bobo. Because mm -hmm. he does oh, some reds. I want to see some purples and some reds, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was quite purple actually. Yeah. So I think, I think what's happening is actually that like, these colors, these colors are, are approaching each other. The the red, orange, and yellow are they're all so sort close of to each the other. They're going to look the same. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when, they, when they bloom, they're blooming. Yeah. Oh, you know what it is? I, I didn't even restart, uh, and it wasn't a flip. I'm still not used to having to specify float versus double in this, and I really should be used it to it by now. Doesn't make sense. You can also hit the number seven, by the way. Oh, I forgot about that. Thank you. Yeah, the, the colors really need to match, um, unfortunately. And they, they're not. I agree. Yeah. It's amazing how good the purple looks. The purple still looks off to me, but it's it's close. Yeah, it's a, it's at least in the right uh, ballpark. Yeah. Perceptually, I think what we're getting here is like some color compression due to the multiplication. Yep. Good, yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, that was interesting, and at least sort of tracks with my expectation. Well, does it? What I want is I want to take. What I feel like this should actually be is like we should write the actual color that we want into the color buffer, mm -hmm. and then write to some other texture that handles bloom like a particular bloom value, right? We're basically just trying to say like, oh. we want it to bloom on this pixel. That's all we're, it's, it's yep. kind of a Boolean, right? It's like a Boolean for every pixel that just says bloom this. I wonder I too, I mean, is a different way to do this just, uh... no, never mind. Let me let me let me like, do some give it, a fuzzy, give it a fuzzy texture. Or duck duck yeah. doing, as it were. <laughs> Unity bloom color match. I have, I have switched to duck duck go as well. I'm I'm trying to get just off the Google train. Yeah. Thank you. 
I wonder too, what what is the tone mapping in the volume doing? Yeah, because I mean, tone mapping is what we're talking about, right? Like if you get a value of a color that's over, over one, there needs to be some way that the graphics pipeline knows how to deterministically reduce that value over one to something with it between zero and one, right? Mm -hmm. That. So if we turn off tone mapping, I don't even know what the renderer is doing. How does it even know what to do with this value that's greater than one? I mean, we, we've had tone mapping off for a while now. Tone mapping is the thing that actually was sort of giving it that washed out look you didn't like. Yes, we turned it off a couple of days ago, right? Yeah. But I, I think all I'm saying is that now that we've turned it off, how the hell does it even know how to interpret a, a color value that's greater than one? Like. Oh, it's doing something. Great, with great it, question. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Aces. What is ESAs? Oh, this is I see. Okay. That's real shit. I guess we can. I guess you get to pick your tone mapping preference. That's kind of uh, annoying. Oh, it's quite different though. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It looks cool. It makes the game look cool. It's not. It's not bad. It's kind of moody. Yeah. Yeah, it's got very goth. Very <laughs> very goth. Oops. Okay. So that. I guess I'm just I'm 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 unconvinced that like this color can't actually be HDR'd. Like why why can't it be blooming but in the orange color that we're blooming? Is it? I, it, it's clearly something about the tone mapping, but uh, you know, what, let me let me turn down this intensity as well. I feel like maybe that. Sure. I've kind of I've kind of like belt and suspended this thing with uh, blowing it out. Yeah, it could be that that wonder... intensity is is compressing the, is is causing the color compression. Exactly. Like I, I assume that that might have been actually making this a little loss here, and give me a better color. It still doesn't, it's not even close to matching. And that was our previous value. That sucks. Yeah. I, you know, it's funny. I can see it matching on some parts of the circle. And I'm tr I, I, yeah. I, I don't even know how it's deciding to do that. It, it almost looks like it's tearing. The yellow is great. Yeah. The yellow is like almost an exact match. The yellow is exact, and the purple is actually much less close than I thought. Yeah, it's it's not super close, right? I think if we had another magenta-looking color, we would have a hard time discerning. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. Yeah, I, I've I've learned a thing. You know. It's 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 weird. Like this intensity is not actually changing the color of the thing that I'm intensifying. Oh man, enter the dragon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like really this. dope. <laughs> uh, holy shit! So I think it's just increasing the blur, right? The post processor is just doing a blur, and yeah, that's what that that is doing. Yep. What well, I uh, yeah. It, oops. Great, love love when Unity crashes. Uh, it makes it doesn't make me think love that it. I'm love to crash my destroying Unity. that color at least. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's just that this multiplier thing that we're doing to get Bloom is an awkward way of opting into the Bloom system, right? Because all, all the Bloom system is saying is that like I want you to write this color into a separate buffer that I then want you to blur and then blend back into. Uh, the main view, right? 
And if I wanted to yeah, opt it's... in, it really just should be like a Boolean or a bit per pixel. Do I want it or do I not want it? Mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to get that from this stack. <laughs> At least not the way we have it. I, I think I think I think we just don't know. We don't know what we're doing. Maybe that's the. Uh... That is the, uh, what we've Not learned yet. today. I mean, we I can know, give you a really easy a task though that I think would, would improve the game. Yeah, what's that? Um, if you take a look at the sprite for Classy, I think it's her fast attack. It's her knee. Uh, she's got some like stray pixels between her fingers. Oh, I would be thrilled to just Photoshop that out. Yeah. Oh, okay, hang on. I gotta go. We gotta go find her for this. Yep. Gotta whip out the big guns here. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, over here? Yeah. Also her 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 top hand as well. Well, that hand is much gnarlier than I thought it was. Let's let's take it to the shop. Yes. Uh, I do love cleaning some pixels. Get I guess the top here. hand is just all shade. Is that what? Basically, yeah. Oh, that's her cuff. That looks good. Yeah. Wait, is this a different uh, a different sprite? What were you looking at before? I, I was looking at this one. Oh, okay. C yeah, yeah. So she's got the, she's got the little she's got the... kind of bits between her fingers on all of these, I think. Yeah, but I think the I think the bits are supposed to be there. That's that's uh. Oh, that's her. That's her clothes. Those are her cuffs. It's I guess. Cuff, yeah. I. So I think I mean I I, oops, I cleaned up over here, which I don't think was the cuffs. Okay, got it. But yeah, these hands are kind of grizzled. Oh, that's a great sprite. Damn, this guy did a good job. Yeah. I think these are kind of traced a little bit, but yeah, he's sure. to, to not to not take away from his his effort. But I think they are traced over. Like, not at the all. Original. Boy, I miss. I remember when everything was a Shiba. It's gone, uh, it's it's gone with the innocent days. <laughs> you know, twenty twenty one felt like it went by really quick, but then like. I played Disco Elysium in 2021, and that feels like a really long time ago, right? Long. I I lived in San Francisco then, and that was a long time ago. I used to have an employer in 2021. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yeah, it is weird. Yeah, poor poor choice all around, frankly. Yeah, the being employed part. Yeah. All right. Well, we got. Yeah, I mean, as soon one, as I left, we started there. to get rain in California. That's right. I am gonna take credit for that. This was that was your fault. Yeah, not my fault. My my oh. uh, is my I'm 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 a I'm a bringer of good fortune. I'm like I was gonna say, was gonna say it's really you you've done your part for global warming. Yeah, that's great. You're you've offset your carbon footprint for just decades at that point. Right. Well, you good. Well go I'm, gonna, couple, I'm about to burn a lot. So. Yeah, <laughs> I needed the offsets. <laughs> Do you have a fire? You don't have a fireplace. No. Ah, I'm jealous. I want a fireplace. Yeah, I think, dude, I think this is all. Should we just ship it? I think we should make a build. Yeah, okay. let's ship it. Let's let's send this up to itch. Uh I'll, let me put these these small changes in there for you. Tweaks. Oh, should I um bump this to 1.3? You can do that on your side, I guess. Yeah. All right, well, we can work on the build, build script. script. It's going to be a little bit tedious. Oh, yeah. but... oh does it not work? Uh, well, uh, it's not done. Ah, uh, I see. 
show me. It's kind of guy? boring. I don't know. I could. Okay. Let's let's just let's just do Windows build and Mac build from Unity. Okay. Um, I'll I'll kick those off with this. Do I need to bump the version in the editor somewhere? Yeah, if you go to build settings. settings. I did write documentation, by the way. It's in the README. Oh, okay, brilliant. Let me yeah, read. One point three. Come on, Unity. Cool. Got our Mac resolution here. That looks good. Is that it? That is it. So you can close it and you can hit build. The Mac build is pretty fast. <laughs> I call it capital B blockchain Mac, but whatever. Oh yeah, I'll rename it, I'll rename it. That's just a folder name. It's true. One point three. You can even do the WebGL build if you want to. That one takes considerably longer. I was gonna say I'm gonna have to install the WebGL package real quick. Oh, you don't even have it. I have stopped installing things because Unity gives me a new Unity every week, and I just don't care. <laughs> it's fine. Pardon my flippancy. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Uh, I will, uh, I will drop yeah, the seriously, don't worry about it. It's fine. We're not going to be able to get this in time. Um, okay. Uh, no, that one's just called Blockchain Capital B, the app. Okay, great. Great, great, great. 135. Well, I'm going to stick this at least in the uh, itch page. Uh, you need to make a zip file. It's it's a whole thing. Ah, uh, fine. Okay, I shouldn't do this live. <laughs> you win. There's no there's no point in rushing it because I think we should just build all three and, and ship them at the same time with 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 notes and everything. Okay. Um, Fair enough. Um, should we should we think about the historical game jam? Yeah, we can do that. What is it down to? Witchcraft and uh, and your country's your, your history. country's history. Really, I really don't like that one. I don't like either of those topics, so it'll be a fun challenge. Yeah, why do so many people like witchcraft? Uh, is it just like th those? That's the crowd that we found ourselves in. Like maybe I mean didn't didn't this this game just came out Witchwood, which is like a crafting game about witches. We're gonna we're gonna be oversaturated in witch stuff. It's yeah. too late. I I have bad news. We might be doing a game jam with a bunch of nerds. It's so funny because like <laughs> you're absolutely right. And then I, I suddenly started to feel superior about it. I was like, witchcraft. <laughs> I guess I'm just like so fundamentally non witchy what do you call that subculture not, like ren fair people you're, you know you're not a particularly witchy person yeah yeah that is uh not not the vibe i would i feel like to you. it's like these people and like furries as well there's like a certain communion there but you know what oh i mean i think i'm much witchier than you are you are much about witchier the, than I, I don't know about yeah. the furry shit yeah yeah okay i'm i mean i'm in the crypto coven discord <laughs> you're in the crypto coven the only, discord How, is that a good only, discord no i don't get it um, I mean, I love the people who made it. I just don't like, I was like, okay, cool. Well, they, they're having a sense of community over here. I'll go see what a community crypto project is. And I still don't get it. It seems like people who are showing off their NFTs. So that has been the sort of like the, the thinking man's apology for NFTs has been like, oh, you know, people just have a community around it. It's like a thing that people get together and talk about. Uh, I'm not sure how much I, it's like not compelling to me. Uh, it doesn't it's even like, compel my empathy, the... but but like that is what I, I frequently hear about. It's like, you know, NFTs, it's easy to write them off, but you know, it gives people a sense of community and like. It's like not the social club I would join, I think. Yeah. Is it is this what sneakerheads were before I knew what sneakerheads were? Uh, like, it's a it's... little bit like that or, you know, people who yeah. collect pogs or something like that, but. Which like I kind of get. There's always there's always going to be that group. Someone's always got a weird collection of something. But the NFT it's... is not real. It is like less real in a serious conceptual way than anything else that we're talking about, right? 
You can't wear them. You can't play Pogs with them. Like, you know, all the reasons that people talk about owning vinyl, like there's all the, there's like the physical ritual of, of it. You have to go to the mm-hmm. store to buy it. You have to flip the record over. You have to go, you have to go yeah. crating and like, you have to go sifting for, for vinyl. And you have like arguments about like the, the, the virtue of like the sound you're getting out of it, how it's like this analog thing that is unreproducible. Yes. NFTs um, are the opposite of vinyl. <laughs> there's literally nothing you can do with them. They're the opposite of that, right? So vinyl has very little to recommend it. And I say that as someone who literally has a vinyl player, like, you know, like 12 inches away from my hand. I know know you got that. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, So like, I'm okay if you're into pointless things, but like there's, there's, there's like a special pointlessness to NFTs that is offset only by speculative value. And I just wish people who are into it just admit they're the trend they're trying to cash in on a period. You just want to sell you want to sell your NFT later. That's it. I mean, is it's that not what they... your crypto coven friends are into? If there wasn't monetary value involved, well, no. would they even have this Discord? That's that's like the thing I'm trying to figure out. Okay. That I can't. Like they all seem generally they're like, they're like, oh, we made like a cool art together. And I'm like, yeah, cool art together. And I'm like, but you want to sell, you want to join the club so you can sell your club membership. It's just like, it's, it's such a, it's such a confusing experience for me. And I can't tell if I am, if I'm wrong or if the children who are wrong, that's I'm like having the principal Skinner moment. The, the children are wrong. They're definitely wrong. <laughs> I mean, I know, but like, is but this is me now yeah yeah i feel i feel like this anytime i look at nft stuff i'm just like what is happening bro i mean i mean it it's not even that we're just like aesthetically against it like it's it just there's uh, it just doesn't make any sense it's a losing, it's a losing argument we can't it's a losing art yeah yeah we're not going to convince anybody we're like losing the argument against ourselves it's that bad yeah uh, I don't want to make the NFT simulator. I think you're right that it is beyond the point of parity. Yeah, we will just the NFT simulator it. is like there's already an NFT game that is like more de- more like developed and also sillier, uh, both intentionally and unintentionally. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I'm glad never forget to block is in the blockchain, but yeah. that might be it for me. Yeah, that, I, I think that's as, that's as far as we're gonna get into making blockchain games. This this game was I've heard a good great things. NFT simulator. Yeah, truly, truly, it nailed it. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't think we could. I don't think we could pass this. To be honest, should I play it? Uh, you should. You should like get them on the game pass someday and just have it have it on a checklist of things to poke at for an hour. So with game, I pass, don't think I don't think you'll have fun with it. <laughs> Let me put it out there. Okay, so with game pass, uh, do I am I no longer able to play it as soon as it like gets out of its game pass phase is that the way that this works uh i mean you could pay for it after that sorry if you if you if you get this through game pass and then it leaves game pass you lose access to the game uh but you can pay 15 dollars to like regain access to it and own it own it you own the non-fungible token of ownership of the game on the xbox is it is it discounted from its normal price if you played it through game pass or is it no never okay Silly me. No, no. Yeah. Will my rent go towards my eventual purchase of my apartment? <laughs> oh God, I hate that. And it's uh you nailed it. Yeah. Um yeah, I don't know about Game Pass. He's got the time. I, will, I really want to play Thunder I wouldn't Tier pay one and I just haven't it. had the time to play it. I just like fucking don't have the time. Yeah, no, f- for real. I would not have paid more than a dollar for it, which I think is a really interesting sort of subscription problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this game does have Chad Shakespeare the dog in it, so. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, but if we were if we were to think of some your country's history time, kind of, if we we're gonna end up I think we need to think of uh, anyway. stuff for both. What was what was um yeah. what was winning? I think witchcraft was winning, right? That was the. Uh... There's like a high likelihood. I, th- I think so. I can't see the. Bad. I could. I could see the responses for the last one. I can't see the votes for this so far. So. Hmm. Yeah. 
So if you were if we were doing witchcraft, what would you do? Hmm? I mean, I feel like uh okay, wait, I, I have a serious question about this game, Jam. Mm-hmm. How serious are they about historical accuracy? <laughs> I'm so confused. I can't tell how far the tongue is in the cheek in this webpage. I think they're pretty serious about it. Okay. Yeah, I got I got that impression when I looked at like home gang shit and I was like, oh, you make or one of these people makes like actual historically accurate games. Is it not, is it not, in, is it not, is this not sponsored by a company that does historically accurate games? I think, I think you're absolutely right. Okay. Yeah. If you command F for sponsor, is that on this page? Maybe they're not disclosing here. No. I think it, it was like, it was like prizes. Oh, you know what? I think it was for four. Mm. Prior, prior games okay which like whew, boy yeah these are yeah quite... these are kind of like really crunchy it's not like the siege of troy is historically accurate right like there's very little historical evidence <laughs> that is that's reliable homer does not count yeah wait a minute <laughs> that's really funny yeah maybe maybe long port the uh yeah like simulator is a little closer I, I assume this was Home Gang because Home Gang is a Viking word, but maybe not. Okay. Um, so if I was doing a witchcraft game, I think mm-hmm. I want to do something related to witch hunts. And, Absolutely. Uh, essentially accusing people of stuff and mass suspicion, mass hysteria, that kind of thing. I mean, I would, I would like to make the papers, the papers please of witch hunting. Ooh. I think that would be a very, it's like, it's got, cause it like sort of inserts you into like the, is, is which, which finder general was a real thing, right? Yeah. But then it, it sort of has the, like, do you let them go? Like someone comes up and is like, it's very sympathetic. And that was my favorite part of papers, please. Where it was like, uh, someone desperately needed to get through to their family or something. And you could choose to let them. And then like the surveillance would punish you. Yeah. If you're like an inquisitor, right? Hmm. what is your psychology as an inquisitor right and i or a witch hunter right because mm-hmm. do you actually believe that they're like somebody is is like possessed by the devil or are you just getting a high off of your privileged position are you are you being a cop Right. I mean, like, that's it, right? Are you, are, at the end of the day, are you just, like, were you, were you just following orders? Were you sort of, like, following your saintly, your your religious duty by hunting down the heathens in the new world or something? Right. I don't know. So th- th- that's the theme I'm interested in a little bit, right? Is, like, mm-hmm. are, like, the tendency to, it's basically going to be a confirmation bias and mass hysteria, right? Like, it's this sort of, like, are, yeah. are you just finding what you're looking for? Right. Oh man, I kind of the the just, and going down the papers please angle too. Like I feel like the historically accurate ways in which you test for witches are probably just excessively stupid and or brutal and probably like yeah, you find someone's that. like menstrual rag and you're like, look, they're possessed yeah. by the devil. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, or you find somebody with some sort of like medical medical issue, right? And then like, oh, mm-hmm. look, they're possessed by the devil. Mm-hmm. We might have to do some research here, right? I, a if if we want to be even remotely historically accurate, I feel like we do need to try. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it actually, there's actually probably a very, oh, man, yeah, like I don't, I don't actually want to make a game about burning women. That seems like not a great start to a game career. <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna it's gonna go badly um i guess you could all, like we could we could take the flip side and maybe make a game about being like the town medic and having to do the same thing but uh caring for people with like very very simple things and somehow making that a puzzle or does that make you a witch that makes you the witch yeah oh you're the witch so you're, you're, witch, you're playing yeah. as the witch. Yeah, it could yeah, be like Assassin's like... Creed Salem, right? Like <laughs> you're like <laughs> you're you're like the person accused of being a witch, and you just go and like murder 
Puritans, which I uh, actually I'm kind of 100% into. That's a very, a very That's... Manchester style game. Right. That's a better game. Yeah. That or, or rather maybe the first one, the first one perhaps was more a more artful game, but uh I will have much more fun making and playing the latter. Yeah, yeah. So again, like this sort of a hotline Miami, but you're you're an accused witch. Oh shit. <laughs> With a long I, staff of oak. I mean, I like I like the notion of you start off as a person who is doing like herbal medicine and then get accused and then you're like, okay, but also I'm going to whip out some magic on you. Yeah. We start, we start with historical accuracy. They say you're allowed to go a historical after that. Uh, it's so fucking funny. This is a weird game jam. <laughs> I think we just don't like witches. <laughs> I mean, well, I, I like witches are fun. I just don't think I want to make a game about historically accurate witchcraft. Because <laughs> it's sad as shit. Yeah, it's it's pretty sad. Um, yeah, but there there surely must be like a a good read about like the tendency to to have witches in society, right? Mm-hmm. It, you know, like it's like a, I bet I bet Foucault has something really good about witches, right? Because like Foucault's reading of history, um, not necessarily accepted by all historians, but he's definitely like he he definitely has like a very um psychological psychoanalytical kind of approach to to history and like why is it that why is it the society needs the concept of witches that's those that's the type of questions that he asks right um Mm -hmm. oh shit he did write something i I really i'm not sure i'm not sure this is oh this is a this is like a foucaultian reading of of yeah yeah yeah. okay exactly um i like how this is called research gate <laughs> i actually like the name of this website <laughs> the greatest it's like the uh what do you the, the um what's the big scandal among science right now it's the is it replication what do you call it when you have to be able to re- oh, repeat uh, is it the repeatability crisis or something like that i, I know what you're talking yeah replication crisis yeah, your reproducibility crisis. That's the, that was the word that I was looking for. All, all, all three were correct. Yeah, that is uh, even reproducing the name of this. That is this uh, that is ResearchGate, right? Is <laughs> this crisis? Yeah. Wow. Why would you name anything Gate <laughs> in this day and age? Yeah, I don't know. Heaven's even Gate. Even in two thousand eight, they they knew better. They're Heaven's German too. This is GmbH, oh, there you go. which I, I don't know what that stands for, but that usually means a German company, right? Yeah. Wow, man. Like, I am not, I'm afraid to even click this to pollute my algorithm. <laughs> what a weird series of videos for this search. Yeah. Holy shit. So, I like, like, if you read like Discipline and Punish, right? He talks about like, like notions of justice in the Middle Ages, like, like because a crime was committed, somebody had to pay for it, even if they weren't the one that did it. Do you know what I mean? Like there's somehow oh, like that's just their mentality is like there has to be some punishment to fit the crime, even though the actual connect it, it wasn't about deterrence or anything like that. Or 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 even if it is, it was what became more important was this sort of calcification of reciproc reciprocation, which hmm ended up just being about like somehow bringing balance the world was almost like a sacrifice to the gods right like that i think that that this is the type of reading that he does of, of ancient society whether it's actually accurate or not like i don't know but it's a it's fun to read and uh um it, it is it is interesting to think about like why do we have this notion of witches across different cultures right it's yeah uh, and it's I think I guess it's maybe like the, the combination of superstition and bullying, right? <laughs> it is it is bizarre that these are like fully independent cultures. Yeah. Many, many just taught like I assume the Navajo and the Zulu did not talk about this. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, doing doing like 
there's probably some very cool if we like dig into other cultures that aren't just like the puritans trying to kill women yeah there's probably there's probably some really interesting uh witchcraft to dig into right just make a werewolf game with skinwalkers <laughs> it's historically accurate man yeah and oh and do her why they all gotta be bad guys i like it okay tell me tell me about my italian witches Wow, I killed them all probably. Humor me on the art game angle really, really, really quickly though, because to me that's the yeah. only way to make a historically accurate witchcraft game is oh, about it's, it's rough, yeah. About society's kind of like response. We don't have to animate people burning at the stake or being crushed by a Catherine wheel. Like we can, we can just imply that it's going to happen, right? Um, what the fuck is that? Do I even want to know what this is? Yeah. I am boggled at the. I, I'm glad fireworks have taken over. Hey, this looks like some sparks I made. I didn't even know that it was uh uh it's the top link there. Oh I like that they're like we're not even gonna put a picture of this thing in here. <laughs> I think I think I know uh what you're talking about. Yeah. I'm glad it has to be disambiguated. Oh, no, so there you go. Weird. Yeah. Bizarre. I, I, it's kind of like we are weird. Like, I think they just hit you with the wheel, right? Or they hit you against they 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 hit you when you're kind of attached to the wheel. I don't know why it needs to be a wheel. Like, yeah, I've heard I've heard the term broken on wheel. I never quite understood what it meant. Yeah. Either. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I guess, I guess they, they, it's just like I, a really, they yeah. either tie you to it or they drop it on you, you know? It's pretty it's, gnarly. It's either they kind of like bend you around the wheel and then oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. No, no. no thanks. Yeah. Our best. Yeah. The Middle Ages sucked. They're really bad. Yeah, they, really, they really did. Yeah. Ugh. And there are like a bunch of morons. And uh, honestly, honestly, I think I was about to make. A, a, like a, a very exaggerated stupid historical claim but i feel like i feel like our society is getting dumber and more violent and i don't know if people are going to get burned at the stake necessarily but it's getting stupider right like i think it's going to get uglier i'm i'm hopeful not but i do think there is a uh, i think things get a little worse before they get better so yeah. that could certainly be one of them sure what I makes mean, you hope i think what makes me hopeful yeah Hmm. Uh, science. We did. We did pretty good on the whole, like actually figuring out the pandemic shit. I think, like, okay. yeah. My my hope has always been human ingenuity will trump, uh, like, great catastrophe. We we're like doing our best to undermine it, though. Yeah, I'm less hopeful than I used to be. But yeah. I don't know, like, we have a vaccine for a pretty good plague in like 14 months. I'm impressed. Yep. That was like a, a good global, we almost did the like come together as one people thing. So like maybe, maybe we're good under pressure. I'm hopeful right. for that. <laughs> okay. So let's say there's a witch hunt. Are you the witch hunter? And okay. all right. So hear, hear me out on the, on, on, on that one. Yeah. I like, like you're the witch hunter you've got we, we find out what the sort of historically accurate tests are for like you know all the weird bullshit like yeah floating water looking for rags that sort of thing I, I don't know if the floating water is real or just monty python um you're a witch hunter and you do, try your best to not accuse witches you're like you like realize it's all bullshit and you like have the tools and use them ineffectively <laughs> Yeah, that's probably so is that like nothing. It, Never mind. is it like a phoenix wright type th type situation visual novel oh um oh right, with the, papers with please the, uh... is similar but if you try your hardest not to hurt people then isn't that just doing nothing isn't just sitting on your hands the best thing i wonder i wonder if it's like you have to do it in a way that other people won't notice like if there's if the inquisition is there you have to like hide the evidence yeah i don't know 
That's hard. I want to make I want to make the good guy witch hunter. Or you have to. It might be too hard. Maybe you have to triage, and you have to pick somebody as being the witch. And Ooh. you have to you have to pick somebody, and so you have to pick the most the person that you like the least, I suppose, because <laughs> because that's what the calculus comes down to, right? Yeah. All right, uh, p- 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 pitch me more of the historically accurate one, though. I took that in a different direction. Um, well, I don't know. Like, if it was papers, please. Um, you're essentially out there looking for problems, right? Uh, mm-hmm. But I mean, what kind of like what like what's what's the actual subtlety in it? Like, you'll just you could just accuse everybody of being a witch, right? There's not much of a game mm-hmm. there. Um, so there would need to be some sort of compelling reason to limit who you accuse or you can only accuse one person but that's not the way that witches witches work right it feels like a lot of like witch hunt hysteria is just like getting that group as large as you possibly can get it right and then having people get lumped into that i don't know maybe the killing puritans angle is going to be easier one i don't know it doesn't it doesn't have a high concept and it'll probably be easier to make it feels better Hmm. I mean, pa- Papers, Please is such a, it, it's such an interesting structured game because it really makes you, you make bad decisions because you're afraid for yourself for not making them. And I think that's like the real strength of that. Okay. So mechanic. let's, so maybe, maybe as a witch hunter, you're going to be accused of being a witch yourself if you don't turn out results, right? Yeah. Like your, your witch hunter senior gets, you know, suspicious, uh, if you don't, if you don't find it and they're like, ah, you're, you're, you're a sympathizer, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. That's, I mean, it's, it's a real interesting angle. It's sort of, I worry, I worry we're treading the same ground, but it's good ground. Yeah. I, I don't necessarily worry that we're treading the same ground. Cause we just made a game about, about blocking shit, you know, like it doesn't, we don't need to like, <laughs> we don't need to like, you know, create the next, uh, papers, true. please. Right. We can just create, yeah. a, recreate papers, please about witches. I think that's fair. And, and we'll, I, as, as with all of this, it'll be another good, like sort of, it'll be a different, a totally different mechanical exploration. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, did you, sorry, did I, did you play Oberdin? Did I already, did we already talk about how it's like the best game ever? I got about like 25% of the way through Oberdin. Uh, I started to get okay. dizzy because it's kind of, Oh shit. Yeah. That, that, kind won't, of rough. that won't work. And then I got stuck. I got to the point where I was in the hold and mm-hmm. I knew that it was like a giant squid that had attacked the, the ship, but I didn't mm-hmm. know how to advance past that. Um, Fair. Okay. Whoa, that gets pretty gnarly. The, Just it, at, like, what the hell is that? That's a giant, that's a ghost person riding a giant spider crab cutting off two seamen's heads. I did not get far enough into the game, clearly. I will. I have it's, it on PC. I can. I can hook it up to my my big TV, and maybe that'll be better. Maybe that'll be better. Play with play with play with it using I'm, a controller. I'm I'm curious. Yeah, I played it on PS5 or PS4 or way back when. Um, mm-hmm. Now it's just like every time I think of Papers Please, I just think of that, which was his next game, and like fucking mind blowing for me. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I I met Lucas Pope before he blew up, actually. He was it's married really to one of my cool. coworkers in the game industry. Oh, wild! Yeah, that must be a small world. Yeah, uh, medium yeah. world. It's a small world. I don't know that many people, but again, like I met that dude. You know, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Shershak says our stream is not running, so I better check up on that. Our stream is not running. Yeah. Um. I mean, OBS is running. Who is Shorshack? And how do they tell us that? They see a network error. They're just telling us, telling us that on... Uh, huh. They're telling well, us that I, on... Uh, on Twitch chat. I see the stream. Twitch chat. Uh, are, we, are we actually animating, though? Yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm watching. I'm fractaling us out over here. Okay, yes, I, I think I see it too. 
you know, t- to be fair, uh, Twitch was down this morning for AWS stuff. So I wonder. Oh, interesting. Yeah, there's a, there's a big AWS outage today. So I wonder if there's still some uh, ripples rippling through. Hmm. I can't hear you and see video too. Does that mean that they can't see, they can't hear us or see our video? Try a different computer. I think it's working. I just saw myself scratch my nose <laughs> through the screen share. Or, there's so many, there's so, or did there's, you? such an infinite recursion of screen shares and streams right now. I'm very confused. Yep. <laughs> All right, let me let me close the like that image one. went from my webcam to your Zoom to mm-hmm. my Windows machine to Twitch back to your computer through Zoom back to me. Vert Don says uh, they can hear us, which is great. Cool. Awesome. Hello, Vert Don. Uh, well, I actually finally end. looked up what that nickname means, and I believe it what means it mean? the, the green turkey. Oh, I like it. Yes. I was pronouncing it Verti Dinde for a long time, just because I, I, I'm i not French, and I'm stupid, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think turkeys are green, but you know what? Uh, this one is. That's 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 the pleasure of self-expression right there. Um, there are lots of turkeys in the East Bay. I don't know if you you were ever fortunate enough to run across turkeys on San Pablo Avenue. Oh, I've, I've I've almost run over turkeys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm a big fan. While- there is a turkey uh, on Arlington Boulevard on the way to El Cerrito from Berkeley um, that hangs out next to a black oh, Honda. Accord. I think, I think this person is maybe hacking us. That is like not a good URL to click. I'm going to click it. J- mm-hmm. Okay. Good luck. This person has been on my, uh, uh on my, uh, advent of code streams. So if they're hacking, okay, us, they're not, they're not just a drive by. Okay, great. There's been a, like a, yeah. Um, cool. Well, they put the work in if they did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. We, we just, Speaking of witch hunts, which is the subject of this conversation, I think Dom just tried to start one up, but um, we put the kibosh on that witch hunt. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the hackers are the modern day witches. Is that the angle that we're gonna we're gonna go for now? That would be. I'd like that there. Who are the modern so day far? witches? <laughs> or did we just have? Did we just replace like fear of witches with just straight up racism? Is that is that what happened? I mean, who is, yeah, who is the, oh God, I mean, like, you want to make a game about witch hunts, we could really go into like, you can just combine your country's history and witch hunts into one big mashup of 2020 politics and see what happens. It'd yeah. probably be terrible. Antifa, um, I think Antifa is the modern day witch, frankly. Yeah. Because they don't exist. Uh, they tried another browser. Yeah, it maybe seems like it could be a geographical thing with the network errors. Sorry about that. Damn. That really sucks. I'm sorry I accused you of being a witch. <laughs> they didn't hear me do it, though. Other Twitch stream works. Oh, that's bizarre. Huh. I have no explanation for this. I love the internet. Um, okay, so our two ideas are some kind of like papers, please, um, some kind of papers, please, uh, witch hunt, sort of like subversive, you play the cop kind of game, mm-hmm. or you just go ape shit on Puritans. After after being falsely accused, we're, we're all like or sublimated, accused, yeah. sublimated sex deviants, anyways, right? And you're just killing them, um, thereby, yeah, <laughs> reversing the relationship. You know, you're, <laughs> they 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 accuse you of deviance, but they're the ones that are deviant. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, sort of that inverting is, that is the, the old most Puritan way of things. Yeah, exactly. Sort of inverting the the conventional wisdom, where like, um, you know, uh one potential definition of insanity is just not being normal 
but it could be mm-hmm. that everybody else is insane, right? And you just the only care for that is never know shooting a crossbow <laughs> bolt into their eyeball, um, or whatever you would do as a witch. I would, I mean, making making puritanical, making making Puritan times hotline, hotline Miami, Miami. <laughs> does does sound fun. Okay, all right. Um, <laughs> not very historical i think what happened to most people who were accused of being witches is they got their asses kicked right well like let's see what, what do we got we've got uh your game must start historical so i think we can have a very historical like you did nothing you did nothing you've been accused falsely by like the puritan inquisition you're in jail you and could accuse somebody else. you could be ends. an accused person and then maybe then you're a, then you either like die try to prove your innocence or accuse or frame somebody else for being a witch that Ooh. has a potentially juicy gameplay element to it I kind of, oh man did, did you play chrono trigger i did i i've always wanted to make a game that was just about that trial and like trying to get the perfect trial defense in that game because it was it was nearly impossible and I love the notion of like you go around and do a bunch of shit and innocuous things you do have like extreme consequences later, like stealing on some guy's lunch. Oh, interesting. I just thought, I just thought it, was, it was like, like you have a, <clears throat> a day in the life simulator of the village and then the next day you're accused and they like recount everything you did. And it's like nothing you expected was like. This is trigger. actually a really good idea that I think we should try to try to dig into. It'd be, it'd be pretty cool and I, I like especially how unfair that trial was because it was stacked against you the whole way can through, you remind me fits can really you remind well me what the mechanics were i don't remember that specific piece of that like i have a vague I- I- impression of what this is yeah 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 let's let's because because getting past the trial is really hard um trial trial perfect Yeah, there's like next next to a battle that you you can do for like some early items. There's a lunch that keeps spawning. If you eat it, the old man testifies against you at the trial. Right, right. There's a cat you have to return. Uh, if you try to take the jewel before talking to the character you run into, you get punished. Oh, this is fantastic. And then I think we should make it so that you have to do those things in order to go about your daily business, right? Like... To progress yeah. in the game yeah it's like it's like a like bunch of normal shit you like, do that suddenly like they they come in and accuse you yeah but there is you gotta go to and churn butter run. And you gotta go and like deliver goat a to person b you know <laughs> or something like that yeah i mean i like i loved how much they fit into here like you have to wait for her you have, you have to wait for her to buy candy until the game decides that the npc is done interacting it's so good so big, big fan of this entire. What happens? Uh, experience. Do you go to jail anyways? No matter what. Yeah, I'm pr- pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you go to jail no matter what, but you can convince everyone. Uh, I think you get like a nicer. You get like a nice, real, a good sword if you get a perfect run. You get like a very good item. Oh, but you always end up in jail. <laughs> So there you go. Maybe that's the lesson, isn't it? In our in our, in our witchcraft game, it, like you're just gonna go, to, you're just gonna get burned at the stake no matter what. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Unless you so you try to frame I, I, somebody else, yeah. Which I'm into. I'm into that, that idea as well. That's a, a kind of good one. hitman. So this is gonna be kind of like a hitman type thing, right? Like you're you like it's gonna be sort of a. Well, it's not. It's not so much mm. hitman. But it is I'll like our slack for. A- kind of understanding um it's hitmany yeah the, the setting right and, and and sort of all the whatever whatever environment that we set up in all the little little encounters and, and activities it's sort of understanding what how those are connected together right that would be the mechanic huh? yeah and i i think okay. i think the the best version of this would require like a couple playthroughs to even see what those yeah 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 that is going to be the game if the theme is witchcraft. I think I think you hit the nail on that. Cool. I like that. Yeah. Nice. I think this is a really fun one. And it'll be this would be a fun one to collaborate with people on some narrative design too, because we'll have to come up with a lot of sort of interlocking pieces. Sure. Um, what about uh 
histor- like a, our country's history. That one's a little bit easier, right? Yeah. Or maybe it's too broad, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty, yeah, it's, it's like a brutally vague topic. It's weird because like witchcraft is so specific and mm-hmm. your country's history is like the least specific thing in the world, including just throw witchcraft in there. We can still make the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's same topic. Um, yeah, I wonder how many people are just going to make a witchcraft game no matter what, right? Like, I think the people who voted for witchcraft can hedge and just like vote for oh, yeah. Maybe that's what happened, actually. People were just like, let's vote for our country's history and do witchcraft anyways. You could. Because it's a witch um, conspiracy. The witches are real dumb. That's, I, that's what's going I on. I would love... I would love to make a little, a tiny management game about running a union. I think that's very fun. And like, do it in like 1905 meatpacking plants or something. <laughs> okay. Really. Yeah. Yeah. I'm into it. Like, Go full Upton Sinclair on it and like, yep. make a little, like, I don't know, something, something between like weed, what, what was the old like weed wars game or something where you're like managing a little empire and yeah, maybe, maybe a little building or organizing. I think, I think that could be a really fun little thing. Yeah. Um, My real road and the ideas here. Sorry. No, no, no. I think that's that's good. Has anybody made "There Will Be Blood" the game? Speaking of Upton Sinclair. A good question. Wait, was that an Upton Sinclair novel? Uh, I believe he wrote "Oil!" Exclamation point. Hmm. Which is what that book is loosely based, or what that movie is loosely based on. Nice. Uh, I don't this is decidedly this not is, about. No oil no. <laughs> uh, um, now <laughs> oh yes this is exactly what i'm talking about oh man what i love about this is it's kind not... of like ducktales the nes game which is a great game yeah oh this is amazing <laughs> i love this so much i'm sorry i don't think we can do better <laughs> No, I don't think we can. Wow. What a, this what is a, truly inspired I, work. I love there's like a milkshake meter up here too. <laughs> this is amazing. There you go. Here's it. Wow. Oh, yes. It's got this kind of Mega Man style boss fight. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are you fighting uh, Paul Dono with a, with a bowling pin? That's how that's how it ends, yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm finished. Wow. Great wow, movie. Wow. <laughs> I like how it's super we, the uh... fun. <laughs> Oh, I mean that's that's the classic, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Uh yeah, we can't do better than that. Oh my god. No, no, that that's a win. <laughs> huh. Um there there should be more Super Nintendo remakes, is what I'm learning. That was great. Yeah um oil oil would be fun i i've seen a game term oil that sort of turned this into a real-time like oil drilling game oh Could, yeah it almost reminds me of uh world of goo in the graphical style kind of right yeah but i'm not i'm not interested in like making making oil drilling the fun thing yeah. Okay. So if you're doing like Union Simulator, uh, oh, yeah. the management side of it might be just like trying to convince people to sign the union card, right? It, it might mm-hmm. be, it either could be like running a union that's already active or it could be just trying to actually establish the union. I almost think that the latter would might be easier to kind of like come up with mechanics for. Trying to establish it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I could. I could almost see this like the Yakuza Zero Hostess Club game where you're like trying to like Union Cards is like winning fans throughout the neighborhoods you're going through and trying to like, I don't know, you're trying to like convince employees and you have Oh to yeah, and you have to go around it. and like help people and get to know people and yeah. like Im- improve your relationship meter with people uh, so mm-hmm. that they'll, they'll, they're more likely to like be interested in talking to you. But then you can also kind of have like bad weather events where there's like company propaganda or there's Pinkertons or something like that. Oh yeah. That's pretty Oh yeah. Dumb. And the, I guess every, every run ends with you getting murdered by the Pinkertons and finding out if your union survived or not. 
You could even have a little bit of like a stealth situation where you're trying to like sneak into the factory floor without the foreman finding you. Oh, be one of those like diverse scenario type games. I like that a lot. Yeah, that could be fun. I do. I do really like if it always ends in your death. Because that that feels like like you're always you're always murdered by the Pinkertons. Like Chief O'Brien's great 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 uncle or something like that. I just watched that too. My brother is, is, is that my, remains one of my favorite Deep Space Nine episodes. My brother is re- rewatching uh, DS9 right now as well. He's getting really into it. Nice. He's, he's yeah, telling bar, me about bar that. association is like perfect. Uh, did you know that somebody has a website that accumulates all of the uh, the Ferengi rules of acquisition? Oh, I'm I'm not surprised, but I am not aware of this. Let's see. I love it. This ad, this ad on this uh, page is really the ad on the page oh, is incredible. Um, because I'm pretty sure it's not like an iframe ad. That is like a full on like I designed this and paid you to put this HTML into your page. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't try to sell a book on the rules of acquisition page. You're gonna end up. <laughs> you're gonna end up badly associated. I don't know how many of these there are, frankly. Uh, I feel like the fact that this is not very gappy kind of feels like they maybe filled in the gaps with some creative license, uh, which honestly I'm all for. Well, I'm this, like 100% in favor. So I, I appreciate the actual, yeah. So let's see, there, is, there, is there an official rule number two over here? Interesting. That yeah, does sound like, do like something Quirk one... said, right? It, it feels like I can hear the line in my head, but clearly it didn't happen. Yeah. Because I trust no, I Memory do, Alpha like with my life. Excessively sorted, sorted yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the people who run this are a little a little extra, and it's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, even, the, their commitment to... Got the unofficial ones. Their, their commitment to source material is is like basically uh, unquestionable, right? Yeah, yeah. If it's, if it's not on here, it's probably not in Star Trek, which I do appreciate. Yeah. Um, oh, it'd be fun to make a Frank a Quark's Bar Simulator someday. Yeah. Can't do that without a license, but I would love it. Somebody told you yeah, to make Quark's Bar. Someone really should. That'd we were fun. talking. I was talking with their brother about how um, Quark is essentially like a like a like a VR pimp. Right, because like people go to his, he like runs the holodex on DS nine, and people go there to fuck. Right, that's the imp- that's the implication. Oh yeah, yeah. They abs- There's like a Tumblr post about this, and like not the but the Starfleet people do it too. Right, I thought like I thought like Doctor Bashir is like a total horn dog. Right, and he goes to oh yeah, he's like really into that that VR porn. <laughs> did you did you watch? Have you watched Lower Decks? You really need to watch Lower Decks. I have not watched Lower Decks. Okay. There's How like, are you watching like Lower Decks? Where... Are you subscribed to Paramount? Is that is that what you're telling me? No, I'm stealing it. I'm not. There's too many services. Okay. You can't yeah. put just Star Trek on one of them. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not. Uh, there's a third one. Judgmental. In one I was just about... curious. No, no. I'm I'm back to BitTorrent. It's like <laughs> they 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 blew their wad. They could have had like three services, but no, they needed ten. Yeah. Dom was out of the game for years, but now he's back. I was. Yeah. Basically. Um, anyway, it's, it's after time I'm going to end on this. There's a throwaway gag in one Lower Decks episode where they're yeah. like, they're, they're all Lower Deckers. They're, they're all like ensigns and shit. But one of them gets holodeck cleaning duty where they have to go in and clean out the excess matter filter. <laughs> and they just sort yeah. <laughs> so there's a fanfic um, that I think that they're quoting. Because it's it was basically the uh, it was like diary of a diary of a holodeck janitor. I think that's the, that was the name of this fanfic. Uh, and and it, it 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 is shall we say a body fanfic, yeah. uh, b a w d y, uh, like Canterbury oh, yeah. Tales, if you will. Mm. Oh, this is brilliant. I re- I really enjoy it. <laughs> wow, there's so many of these now. Holy shit! Yeah, take me to episode one. 
just those first four frames are incredible. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it has uh, deep um, Jimmy Corrigan energy to this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and the, fir- the last four frames are the same as the first four frames, right? It's just him standing there. Yep, yep. <laughs> like the background... It's all the same piece of art, right? That's like, <laughs> oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, that's, like, that's perfect. With, with a couple, a couple of things there in there, but yeah, yeah, it's all the same piece of art. Uh, a classic, an yeah. absolute classic. I think more things do happen in the three hundred episodes of this comic, but <laughs> it is mostly him just standing there. Right? <laughs> it's it's pretty much him just standing. <laughs> anyway. Oh, well, okay. Do you think, think he just like think watches YouTube ideas. all day, O'Brien? Like when he's standing there in the transporter bay, that's not a very big room, right? There's I not wonder. much in there besides the pad and his little desk. He's got to be like on fucking Reddit the entire day, right? That's well, like, do is this a military thing? Do you stand at a post and do nothing all day? Like some people must. He's always there when they need him. Right? He's always there, yeah, and he's always like at attention too. I think it's hilarious that like, yeah. His entire job is to stand in a room and just wait. (laughs) Captain Picard always makes it a point to be nice to him. He's like, I got, I got to be one. I got to be down with the folk. That's, that's, that's Picard's attitude. You know, that's, I consider myself a man. That's why he was good (laughs) with his, with his personal winery. Exactly. Then he goes back to his quarters and plays the flute. <laughs> all right that's it that's all we got for today uh we will catch y'all next week i am streaming advent of code every night until christmas and then maybe i might, I might just continue Hell just yeah. doing advent of code till everything is yeah you're gonna make up new new problems go back to old years uh that would be really fun wouldn't it i actually yeah, i actually am a little bit curious about obs oh you know i'm not running obs on my computer right now i was like i don't see the little obs icon maybe it did crash um, but it's just that it's running on the I'm, PC. Mm, I'm like, we're we're live. We're live. Not for long, but we're live. Yeah, we're we're li- we are actually probably unfortunately live, right? Like we are. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, we're here. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Let's let's hit the button. Okay. I'm, okay. I, I gotta find the button. All right. All right. All right people, I'm hitting the button. the button. I'm gonna hit it.